Hello. So I thought I'd do something a little different after the whole Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case. I was sick with bronchitis and laid on the couch and watched the whole trial. I doubt that Amber Heard will ever see this video, but if she does, Amber, this video is for you. As a survivor myself and watching my little brother be abused by his ex, along with my current partner abused by his ex, I have to say I was extremely triggered watching the the whole case the whole court case i wasn't triggered by johnny i was triggered by you there's a thing called body language your body language tells me you're an aggressor Listening to the recordings of how you treated Johnny sickened me. It, it disturbed me. That was disgusting. It was foul. Everything that came out, your whole body language, your whole behavior was vulgar. You are a vile, vile human being. I've been through hell with my monster to this day talking about what I went through I can't look people in the eye people that have been abused have their self-esteem damaged your self-esteem, you have no problem with your self-esteem. You are so hung up on yourself. It's gross. It's really sad because you had, had everything. So many, so many people in this world could only dream of having half of what you have. You're pretty on the outside. You're very pretty on the outside. But honey, looks don't last. The way you behaved, the way you acted, and how you sounded on those recordings makes you ugly. Ugly. You are ugly. You know, you, you landed yourself a king. So many people dream of having what you have. And you threw it all away because of your greed. You're narcissistic. You, you had everything and you wanted more. Look where it got you. Look where it got you. To this day, if I came face to face with my monsters, my abusers... There's no way in hell I would be able to stare them down the way you stared Johnny down in court. There was many points when Johnny was on the stand. Even when he wasn't on the stand, his body language told me that he has been abused. That's why he can't look at you. I can't look at my abusers. I can't. It terrifies me. I'm terrified. I've been out of my abusive situation for 10 years. And I still have problems. I still have nightmares. I still have self-esteem issues. Do yourself a favor. Get some serious mental help. You need some serious counseling, some serious medication, and not with that joker that took the stand on your behalf. Yeah, she was, she was, she was a joke. She can't help you. Find yourself a true professional therapist.
and get some help. I, I'm really concerned for your daughter. I'm really concerned for your daughter. I, I hope for her sake you do get help. Don't destroy her life the way you destroyed your life. It, it, this whole thing is disgusting. I'm glad Johnny won because that made me feel like my younger brother won. Even though he didn't. My younger brother is a Gulf War veteran. And his ex beat him in the head with a toaster. He was raised not to lay a hand on, on women. And he's never, ever laid a hand on any woman in a violent manner. She beat him nearly to death with a toaster. Then she called the cops. And before they got there, she beat herself in the eye, giving herself a black eye. My brother, a war vet went to jail. He's got two adult sons that he hasn't seen since they were three and four years old because of this woman. Another thing I want to address, Amber, is the whole story you told about being essayed with a broken bottle. Years ago, when I was in my 20s, one of my best friends was raped with a broken bottle beer bottle and the damage to her was so severe that she had to have many 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 reconstruction reconstructive surgeries and it damaged her so severely and she was a model she was gorgeous It didn't just damage her severely physically, um, but also mentally. To the point where she no longer wanted to be beautiful. So she started taking male hormones and changing her look altogether. She didn't even want to look uh, anything close to a female. Because she was terrified. It was, it was such a horrific ordeal. I mean, it damaged her for life. So when you started telling that story about the bottle, I'm just like, it, it triggered me. And I didn't believe a word of it because if it were true, you would have had medical attention. You would have needed it. Um, and most likely you would have needed surgery to fix the damage. And that was the most disgusting thing and bothered me probably the most. How, how you can make up lies that are so horrific to destroy another human being is beyond me. I, I just, it's horrible. But your lies and lack of evidence is what made you lose. You don't treat other people that way, the way you treated Johnny. You don't, you don't do it. You know, the most beautiful thing in a relationship is good, calm communication and showing each other love and respect. And by the sounds of those tapes, honey, you did not respect Johnny at all. When somebody's abusing you, you don't follow them. You try and get away from them. You don't keep nitpicking. You're walking on eggshells. When I saw the photos that you claimed were evidence of abuse, I knew right away that I've had so many injuries.
there's been times that my abuser beat me so bad I, I was in the hospital. And I had no choice. They knew. Even though I lied about what happened to me, they knew that my husband did that to me. And they said by law, by law, they have to call the police and report it. Obviously, no, I know a little bit about makeup. Never, ever have I ever been able to completely cover up my injuries. No matter how hard I tried, I could never completely cover them up. You have lied. You have manipulated. And you need to stop. You need to stop treating people that way. That makes you ugly. You know, you could have had everything. You could have had the world eating out of your hand. You're beautiful on the outside. Learn to be beautiful on the inside. Learn to treat people with love and compassion. You know, don't manipulate. But I guess your greed will always, always control you. That's why you destroyed yourself, is because you're greedy and you're narcissistic. And, honey, someday you're going to die alone and broke. And that's sad. But you're doing it to yourself. Nobody else has done this to you. You've done this. You and you alone. I, my hope for you, my hope for you is you learn love and compassion. And I hope that beautiful little daughter of yours teaches you love and compassion. And I hope for her sake you get yourself some help. If you don't, I feel sorry for that baby. I feel sorry for your daughter. If Johnny Depp ever sees this, I'm proud of you. And thank you so much for coming out and putting yourself out there. And um, letting the world know that men can be, men can be victims as well. Because I've watched it. And I hope you get your life back. And I hope you I hope you find happiness. Anyway, that's all for tonight. I love you.